All right. What I wanted to talk about now is there's some people who actually wanted me to give a lot of financial information. And some people actually like my my financial videos. And <laughs> if you like those videos, you're going to love this one. I'm going to give you all a mountain of game to, you know, navigate through this current system. And um, you can take it how you want to. Um, but I'm just going to give you a little game and how to use credit cards properly. OK, a lot of times people just do not understand what a credit card is. And that's a very this is one of the reasons why people stay poor. Now, these, this is why people are going to get kicked out of their fucking homes or their their con not their, well, their homes or their apartments because they can't use common sense. No, there is nobody in America who has any semblance of a credit score that should be homeless or broke. Let me explain that to you. <laughs> so let me explain the simplistics of a credit card. So you have to understand, A, what credit is. Then you have to understand what debit is. OK, debit is an immediate like it, it. Debit is actually let me actually sit down and look up the, the legal definition of debit so you can understand it, because I only look up things in legal definition. I don't give a damn about what Webster's dictionary tells me, um, but I want to make sure I give you the proper understanding of debit. OK. Definition. OK, a debit, a debit is a sum charged as due and due or owing. Um, an entry made on an asset side of the ledger or an account. The term is used in bookkeeping to denote the left side of the ledger or charging of the person or an account with all that is supplied to or paid out for that person or for the subject of that account. Now, let me explain that to you in layman's terms. When you use your debit card, <laughs> you are agreeing to be the surety. So you are the one that bolts all of the you're the one that holds all of the liability. So when you inject money into your debit account, you're actually making yourself poorer. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't have a debit account. I'm not saying that because you're going to need it to pay off credit cards. But. When you use your debit, it is going to make you actually poorer over time because what goes in the debit account is your only net operating expenses and funds. OK, so you're the surety for this account. Now, when you open up a credit account. This is a completely this is another asset. This is another uh, bookkeeping ledger for you. So what happens is, let me explain this. I'm trying to explain this in the most layman terms possible. Um, if, if you don't understand bookkeeping and accounting, this shit is going to go over your head so goddamn far that it's going to seem like I'm speaking gibberish. But when you have a debit card, what goes in, what comes out? If you don't know how to manage your debit card and write off every single thing that comes comes out of that, and, uh, you know, receive your tax credits for that, you're going to be fucked in the game. But when you do credit, it's it's you're creating another set of books that you use for your advantage. Now, let's explain credit. OK, so. There's a multi there's a, a multiple definitions of credit, so I'm trying to search for the best one for you. A claim for a particular sum of money, the ability of an individual or a company to borrow or procure goods on time as a result of the positive opinion by the particular lender concerning such borrower solvency and reliability. OK, you're the creditor. <laughs> uh, you are the creditor. But here's the issue. I would have to explain this too too much. So when you open up a credit card, let me tell you, beside cashback rewards, besides uh, uh, 
flights, vacations. Credit cards have so much benefits. Now, let me explain something to you. Every transaction you do is a taxable transaction unless it's done in bailment. Please look up these phrases. I don't feel like dumbing this down anymore because I'm breaking it down to the lowest common denominator. I pay every single thing from rent to food on my credit card. And then what I do is I just pay it off through my debit card. So as soon as I do the transaction, I pay it off before the statement date. So then my credit looks good. So what you have to understand is there's a multitude of ways to use your credit as a weapon. Nobody should have an over 700 score and be broke. (laughs) Not only mentioning that if you start your own business, like I already told people to start their own business. The only reason I told you to start your business is for the business credit. There's somebody named Corey P. Smith. He'll tell you that he has books and all this stuff. I never read any of his books because I already know this shit. But if you need to go follow a website, he'll explain that to you. Credit is like you can create the more the more taxable transactions you create, the more money you can make. Okay, so when I pay my credit card, now my credit card company has the liability of whatever I paid them with interest. Right. If if uh, if interest hits. They owe that to me. Not only does the merchant owe the money they receive, but the actual credit card company. That means it's a way for you to duplicate yourself and the money you receive. Man, I don't even know how to explain this in a format to make everybody understand this. You should never be paying for anything with your debit card. You should never. This is what this is what kept me broke. Saving money is what kept me broke. Till I understood, hold up. Saving money is stupid. Now, taking your money that you save and investing it and making it make more money for you, that is smart. And there's nothing wrong with sitting on money, you know, just to be, you know, to kind of be, you know, wait for something. But you I'm telling you, once you start understanding how to pimp the credit card game, my my psh, you going through the moon. You have to understand accounting, bookkeeping, assets, liabilities. Anything you spend money on, right? Whether it's rent, whether it's the electric bill, you need to be keeping a statement of accounting and you need to write All of this shit off because whenever I give a company money, it becomes income to that company. It becomes a liability to that company and it becomes a credit to me because I'm the donor of that. Everything in the United States operates by donor donee and the donor always controls who pays the taxes. I don't know how to get you you have to study Title 26 to understand what I'm saying. But I, I hope that y'all understand this, that you should be using your credit cards and paying it off and then researching how to write off all of that stuff as an expense. I'm out.